Uh, we switch things over to English now. And uh, Vanessa, I want to start with you. And I know you have to get going, so if you have to leave uh, right after this, uh, feel free. But I do want to start things off with as our representative from the State Department of Public Health. Um, could you start by mentioning the vaccination rates and COVID statistics currently here in the state of Colorado? Sure, Chris. Uh, the numbers um, up to date are as follows. 156 numbers of cases reported, 156. Two uh, new deaths among cases, 84 uh, number of people currently hospitalized and 52% of those were not vaccinated and 18 new hospital admissions. In regards to the vaccination um, percentage of the Hispanic community is as follows. 39.69% of the Hispanics here in Colorado have are vaccinated or at least with one dose. And there is another, another number that I have been mentioning also here previously, which is, um, you know, some people, they don't report the race, neither ethnicity. So based on a model, uh, we have 47.85% of the Hispanic population um, vaccinated or at least with one dose. Those are the numbers up to date. Thank you, Vanessa, for that information. Um, doctor, I want to go over to you with uh, a bit of um, information uh, that I would like to get from you about uh, COVID and the flu and potentially getting those at the same time. What would be the impacts of that and can that happen? Yes, thank you for that question, Chris. Uh, a week ago, we had a meeting with uh, communities of uh, San Luis Valley, and that was one of uh, uh, the questions that the community was asking. And uh, this has a real complex story because when we started with all the, the social distancing and the mask wearing because of COVID, the number of, of uh, flu cases dropped significantly about 99% uh, because of those measures. And now that we're slowly or not so slowly uh, ending this, uh, these precautions, we are tending to see an increase in, in, in these cases. Maybe it's not significant, but there is an increase of cases of the respiratory uh, viral infections that are caused by three different types of virus, the respiratory adenovirus, which will give you the common cold, the influenza virus that will give you the flu, and finally, the syncytial respiratory virus that affects children and older adults. What is important here is that there's a, uh, a study that they published uh, on the Lancet last week that was talking about 212,000 individuals that were hospitalized because of COVID. Out of those, close to 10% had another co-infection with one of those respiratory viruses. We found, or they found finally, that the risk of, having, of being intubated was 400% higher if you had the flu virus at the same time, the mortality was 50% higher in those who had uh, the common cold at the same time and 240% higher in those who had uh, the flu virus. So yes, they can happen at the same time. And this is maybe another reason for which we want to be vaccinated because we don't know if we can get both at the same time. Well, speaking of which, uh, vaccine clinics across Colorado are slowly kind of closing due to a lack of demand. Um, what, what alternatives are there for those who want to get vaccinated? And with that in mind, uh, could you tell us more about the vaccine clinic that Servicios de la Raza is organizing for tonight on this Tuesday? Yeah, the clinics, uh, massive clinics are closing because of a uh, lack of uh, demand people are already vaccinated or they know where to go to their clinic, but we're going to keep on uh, with our doors, doors open at the Mexican consulate Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. You don't have to be Mexican or you don't have to have any other thing to do at the consulate, just go there to get a vaccine and you can get it with no cost and no hassle. Every Tuesday, including today, we have a clinic in the afternoon for those who come out of work or don't have time in the morning from four to seven o'clock, a walk-in, you don't need to have an appointment, just come in and you'll get your vaccine. And with our mobile health unit, we're going to be traveling around 
uh, the state and uh, metro area. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be at the Mexican consulate from nine to two o'clock, from nine in the morning to two o'clock in the afternoon. And we're going to keep on doing this as much as, as we are needed. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone. I'll see you again here next week. Gracias. Thank you.